to be uh, satisfied that your team played that game today as if it were a playoff match, start to finish? Well, the first period we realized it was a playoff game. And uh, obviously we gave up 22 shots. You know, we, really, we recovered from it, but our goalie, you know, kept us in it for sure and played great. And then uh, coming out of there, we realized the intensity of the game and what it meant for them. We talked about it before the game about what the game meant for them. And, uh, you know, they're a hungry team tonight. I thought we battled, though. Hung in there and found a way to win. Power play was really good. The you know, haven't maybe the last game a little bit. When you played the Rangers, you have as big a rival as they are. They knocked you out of the playoffs last year. Emotion, this is this is a market step up in emotion. And when you played them, why is that? What well, is I think emotion? the emotion is getting there with the Rangers. I thought the last game we played them here, I thought it was pretty intense. But they just play a different style, I think. You know, with Pittsburgh, it's just kind of always been there as far as that back as I can remember. Um, just a different uh, rivalry, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Yeah, personalities, Rangers, um, you know, more of a real skating team and um, not overly physical or anything like that. I think with Pittsburgh, the physicality gets up in there and, you know, with Crosby and Malkin, I mean, that just brings out, you know, brings out some intensity in us is what it does. Ryan White mentioned that uh, a couple of the Penguins players after last Wednesday's game uh, made a comment, made comments about the Flyers not making the playoffs. Um, was that something that was readily available for all the players, or was that just maybe a couple? Well, of they all know, um, you know, team, you know, that, that stuff always happens on the ice. You know, it's not a, you know, it's what happens when you don't make playoffs. You know, um, but I'm, you know, I'm sure our players were upset about it and wanted to do something about it for sure. Looks like Braden Shin's taken, taken it up a level in the last week or so. Well, why now? Why not earlier? What's, what's well, I, I don't think his game's changed that much, to be honest with you. I think that, uh, I said before, Braden gets opportunities almost every game to score. And they're going in now for him. You know, he's been on that power play in that slot area. I can't tell you how many good shots he's gotten off and, and opportunities, but they haven't gone in. Some of the guys are saying that they don't want Pittsburgh in the playoffs. They're not going to go in for check seat since he doesn't care. As a coach and the other one side of this rival, do you would you like to see them not make it? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter to me. Um, like I said, we're just trying to go out and win, 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 win the rest of our games. That's it. Nice tribute today for Paul DeVos. Very good. What did yeah. it mean to be part of his last game? Uh, I've known Debo for a long time. Um, you know, he's been a great referee for a long time and to ref that long and he's done a really good job and, you know, to ref this game here is, you know, it's pretty special. Mason's save percentage now, I think, is third in the league. Uh, is that the truest stat for a goalie? It's one of them. Uh, you know, I'm sure Mace, the, the, the best stat is wins, right? Um, but Mace has done a, Mace has done, played some great hockey this year for us and, uh, you know, obviously t today was, uh, he was great again. He's got a real good save percentage.